I'm Morning. Dustin, Certified Arborist. I'm King Andrew. Ridge. Nice to meet you. We're going to go over some basic safety, like cone setup safety on a job site. For the roadside. Roadside safety and pedestrian safety. All right, guys, let's talk about so the speed on the road here is 35 mile an hour and it's a, it's a passing lane through here so, so we don't need flaggers for this demonstration. And there are no sidewalks on this particular situation but sidewalk safety is very important also. Yeah, definitely you want to cone off the sidewalk just like you would the, uh, the, dry, you know, the, the road. Um, people can be sneakier than cars. I'm gonna show them the signs down here. Look at how we've already set up signs on this road. Now at the end of the road, tree work ahead sign. And then we also set them up down here. And then we're just gonna basically go over the, the miles per hour of the road, which is 35 miles an hour on this road. And our cone safety separation, our cone separation will be 35 feet because this road is 35 miles per hour. And a road that's 45 miles an hour is gonna be 45 feet cone separation. And then uh, let's talk about what, buffer zone. You want to talk about You got that? three, there's basically three, there's going to be three areas of your roadside setup. The first area is going to be uh, your um, pre-warning area. So as the drivers come down the road, they're going to see your signs first. That's and that's, right that's going to be your, your, your basically your, your pre-warning area. That's, um, and that goes by the speed of the road. Uh, depends on how, you know, how far back your cone has to go. The second uh, area of the of the roadside setup is going to be your your safety zone, which is going to be consists of your buffer and your taper. So there should be no work, there should be no people, there should be no personnel. You should have nothing going on in them cones behind you. Your buffer shouldn't you shouldn't be working in the buffer. You shouldn't have uh, trucks parked in the buffer. The buffer is buffer space. It's for when an errant driver goes off the you know off into your cones into your job site they have that buffer space to bring their uh, vehicle under control and stop uh, before they end up all the way at the chipper um, so your taper and your buffer and then the last part of your job of your roadside setup is going to be the work area and the work area basically consists of two spaces the the lane that you're working in and the lane that traffic is going to use because we have to share the space. We don't want to hog the road. There's set rules, specific guidelines. It's very cut and dry, black and white. Um, memorize the, the, the charts. Uh, understand that there is an exact way. There is a right way. It's not, it's not up for discussion. I mean, it's, it's basically- OSHA standards. It's a law. It's OSHA law and it's for your safety, uh, which is the most important thing. Protect the workers out there on the job site. Uh, which is you. In, in all the years, the most dangerous place, in all the years with all the power lines, with all the dead trees, and all the junky work sites, the worst, the worst place you can work is on a road. It's the most dangerous uh, place. You can do everything right and you can still have a terrible outcome. So let's take it, let's go over, um, so how far down, so this is our, what zone is this called then? It's our safety zone. So behind the chipper is the... Safety the, zone the is the buffer and the taper. Okay, so you got your work zone right behind the chipper, and then you have your buffer zone, and then you have your taper zone bringing the cones into the road you know, as we're coming across. So do you want to videotape that for a second, just kind of show everybody how we got it set up. And then how far down, where do we put the tree work ahead sign at, usually? That's a rule of thumb. Well, whatever makes common, whatever is common sense. Or? Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't have enough room. Uh, for instance, on a 35 mile an hour road like we have here, um, the buffer length will be 83 feet. <coughs> um, so, 80. Is that what I'm sorry, 100, 100, 35 feet, 130. To a buffer. So we got 132 feet of buffer. Buffer. So the buffer is. For anybody who's wondering what the buffer is again we're just going to reiterate so you got your work area right here and once your work area stops and maybe it's 20 feet behind the chipper that's your buffer and then it and then it goes into the next step which would be your the taper your taper and yep. so the taper would have to you'd have to find uh you know what the proper taper length is for your road that you're working on and it all goes by the speed again common sense does factor into everything so if you don't have enough room a lot of times you could be working at an intersection and there's a, there's a proper setup for working at an intersection there's a proper setup for working on a double lane road 
or a two-way divided highway, a freeway, uh, a one-way street, a parking lot. I mean, there's rules for every possible setup. There is never, there's never nothing, nothing new here. But today we just wanted to make sure that we talked about wearing the proper gear when you're out on the road, the proper gear, um, and making sure you're setting up the job and you're being safe. And so today, you know, just as an example, outside our shop, it's 35 miles an hour. And we just wanted to take a second to show you that. And what else, is there anything else we should talk about? I mean, the only thing we missed here today is uh, pedestrian safety. So you're gonna have signage on both sides of the ro road for your for your road signs. But you're gonna have pedestrians coming by, passerbyers that are interested in seeing what you're doing. And we wanna keep them back also. And so I would say cone safety for on a sidewalk, we'll get into that too, but there's probably a, a specified space. I would say, you know, maybe it's common sense. But I think, it, I think on that, it's gonna be the neighbor's property, um, you know, or maybe a couple hundred feet back on a sidewalk on each side would be a good safe. And remember, safety. the first thing you should do is, when you pull up on the job site, get the cones out, right? Get, get going on your setup. Yep. I mean. Make, it, make the job site safe. It only takes a second for something really bad to happen, and so you definitely want to make sure that you're 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 keeping people safe yep. on the road. So whoever those designated people are, let's get that place safe. Let's get that. Make sure you got the proper work gear on. Making sure that you're you're looking professional and safe, and get the stuff set up. And this is one setup here. This is a pretty relaxed setup. I mean, you got to admit, there's not a lot going on here. Sometimes though, you'll be working on busy roads. Very you'll busy. be. You'll be working on roads where you can't pull the truck in until you have the cones out. Stop, stop. You have to stop traffic just to set up what you're trying to do. And it can be frustrating and, and as long as everybody's on the same page, everybody has an understanding of what needs to happen and everybody knows how their role fits into the job as a total. You know, it's it's about going home safely and that's... And paying attention. I mean, these cars are flying by. You got to be... If, if, if Bob's backing up, I'll use Bob as an example. Bob's backing up the chip truck into a job site. Let's be on target and, you know, Bob's backing up in the driveway and communicate that with him and be there for Bob, making sure that he's getting in that driveway safely. Watch and, out and for Bob. Sure, and, yeah, watch out. And making sure that, you know, that your other people are setting up the signs, holding traffic back or stopping traffic and making sure you're wearing the equipment that's going to help you do that. So I think that's all. I think that's about it, really. We just wanted to take a second and make sure you watch this video and that you understood it and, and go over some of those details. So um, I think that will, uh, anything else you want to mention or are you good on where, where can I, see, see where, where can I find all this stuff if I want, if I was out on a job, like, is this stuff going to be in the truck? Yeah, they're so, right in the trucks. So in a book right in your truck if you want to review that, or I, I think you're going to be tested on this. There's going to be a brief test on this video on some of the basic basic information on cone safety setup in your in your test today. So good luck with your test and we'll catch you later.